I've used Windows 8 for four days now. I consider myself to be an advanced user, but when I booted up the operating system for the first time, I was left bewildered by the user interface, and I have had to work out how to do the simplest operation. Microsoft have abandoned the design heuristic be consistent with the user's experience when they designed Windows 8. Gone is the start button on the bottom left of the screen that's been with us since Windows 95 was released nearly 20 years ago. Rather than being an intuitive interface, I've had to rely heavily on keyboard shortcuts to navigate around the system. When you first boot into Windows, you'll see the start screen with icons representing the apps or programs installed on your machine. It is quite easy to customise by dragging and dropping your most used programs to the start. Some of the pre-installed apps are simple versions of programs, which as you'd expect on a mobile device, for example the music app. The annoying thing about the music app is that it has no independent volume control. You have to hover in the top right corner, select settings and volume. Way too many clicks when the designers could have just included a simple volume slider. Another confusing element of apps is that there is no close icon. They were designed not to be closed, as they use no memory if left to run in the background. If you're like me and hate clutter, they can be closed by holding down the Alt key and F4. For a more traditional interface, you can go into the desktop mode by hitting the Windows key and D. Here you can pin applications onto the taskbar and navigate between open programs by using Alt and Tab. In Windows 8, the corners of the screen become active hotspots. The bottom left toggles between the start screen and the desktop. The top left corner shows the last used open program, and the top and bottom right corners displays the charms bar. It is called the charms bar as it is supposed to resemble charms on a charms bracelet. The most useful feature is to access the settings options. To shut down the system you will need to go to the settings and then select the power option. This can be a bit long-winded. What a lot of users are doing is creating a shutdown shortcut which can be made by right-clicking on the desktop and cutting and pasting this file path which will I, I will include in the description below. All in all, we have to get used to Windows 8, as this is the operating system that will be installed on any new device, and there's always the choice between Linux or Mac OS if you don't like it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this video to be useful.